Hi there, everybody! It's the Nihal Universe! Hope you with this fine Amarashman who brings all of the more experience! And today we're gonna communicate with you about ML tasks and also my PhD thesis that I write right now, do typing and researching and doing some scientific things inside of it. Let's communicate about it and we will connect all these ML tasks and my PhD, PhD thesis. First of all, machine learning tasks, ML tasks, it is a clustering of also regression, classification, dimensionality reduction and others that we can kind of classify, but actually main of uh, this it is uh, four, four, uh, four of it. Clustering, classification, dimensionality reduction and regression analysis. What is it actually? Clustering. It is when we have all the data, dot and puncte, and we have all the data here and we have uh, the connections between them through different features. For example, we have the t-shirt, my t-shirt, yes and uh, we see the patterns here, some of the lines, lines, and also green color. And I want to say that here is, you can see that it is a specific silhouette and the specific kind of border when it ends and we see the background. Wow! It is all about clustering. We kind of segment, we see the patterns of things and we col collect them in the specific clusters. We connect them and group them in specific clusters and it is uh, what, what is uh, clustering all about for example we have cluster of animals yes we have birds we have also kind of uh, running animals uh, and uh, different types of cheetah and also tigers and maybe zebras yes and we can classify them as uh, maybe a kind of four four legs uh, four legs animals or birds or even we can do this with more accuracy we can see the, uh, we can say that it is a tiger it is a cheetah, it is a zebra, or we can even dive deeper, we, we can say that it is a specific lion, it is a specific zebra, it is a specific, uh, and uh, deeper, 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 it is different types of cladograms and uh, cladistics and uh, dendrograms and phylogenetics uh, things, yes, we can dive deeper to taxons and uh, taxonomy, we can do this, it's interesting, singletons we will have uh, in, in the final. Okay, it is, uh, we have have for this type of clustering, hierarchical clustering, partitional, uh, partitional clustering, and also we have hierarchical divisive clustering, hierarchical agglomerative clustering. What is it? Hi hierarchical divisive clustering. When we go from the super mega large cluster and go to the deeper, to the small singletons, uh, and only one object in the cluster. And uh, agglomerative uh, hierarchical aggl agglomerative clustering. It is when we go from the lower, from the kind of singleton then we collect them, collect them, collect them, and uh, here it is. Yes, it is biology thing, kind of. We can can do uh, some analogies, and also analogies in terms of the marketing. In marketing, uh, you are going to the store, for example, to buy something, and you can notice that some people do the same patterns. They do kind of uh, the same things, uh, but some not the same, but some kind of the same, but uh, a little bit different. You are buying a milk, and you want to buy this or that or that, uh, and Actually, you are buying milk, but actually you can kind of even more precisely say that what type of milk, yes? <laughs> For example, okay, we will not talk about food because it is, yes, I understand that it is uh, super mega understandable for people, but uh, let's focus more on more data and uh, kind of numbers and uh, things of this nature because it is more productive in terms of the kind of uh, in terms of the, in terms of the thoughts, yes, our vectorizing, our kind of uh, view to the world to understand how it works. Uh, uh, yes, actually, uh, through the milk we can see this too. But actually, okay, everything everything is nice uh, to look at, but uh, it is more useful to look at things that our people don't see much. I mean, that need to look more in uh, in some rare rare rarity in our world. For example, you can notice a lot of people who are s saying swear words, but you are focusing more on some of the scientific words because it is more kind of, it is a rare use, but actually when you focus on it, you are kind of belonging mentally yourself to the community of the kind of uh, nice thinking. But actually it is a nice thinking too. Everything is nice, but actually it is a kind of uh, different types of uh, thinking. For example, you are, not, you are focusing 
dancing on singing or on dancing. Actually, everything is fine, but uh, if you want to be a singer, then you need to focus on it. If you want to be a dancer, then you need to focus on, uh, focus on it. If you want to be inside of the agriculture, then focus on it. Everything is fine. Everything is good. Everything is super nice, okay? And, uh, okay, it is... Uh, f every Everything is nice. Okay, let's focus on, uh, on what uh, uh, brings value to the people. Okay, and uh, let's uh, go to clustering. We have different types of algorithms inside of it. K-means, K-means plus plus, K-means sharp, robust K-means, DBSCAN, HDBSCAN, Birch, Cure, Chameleon, Rock, and uh, also Sting, Grid clustering, and density-based clustering, distribution-based clustering, and also quantum clustering, and uh, fractal clustering, and uh, spatio-temporal clustering, different types of types. <laughs> different types of types <laughs> of clustering yes we have we have uh, uh, we have types and uh, also diving inside with this for example we have hierarchical clustering and inside of hierarchical clustering we have agglomerative and divisive clustering okay it is different types of clustering actually i work on robust clustering robust cl clustering it is a specific type of clustering that is super strong super nice and uh, it uh, kind of uh, produces data without any outliers so without Without uh, corruption through the through the outlier from outliers, without kind of uh, corrupting our data. Yes, corrupting in terms of the that uh, something will be changed and to kind of. For example, we have. Uh, we have numbers 10 times by <laughs> 10 times by <laughs> by 10000 yes and also we have 1 million w 1 time by 1 million and actually mean number of it will be 100000 and actually median of it will be 10000 it means different types of robust uh, central tendency different types of measures that we can use uh, to 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 describe it okay it is different types of uh, how can we look at the statistics actually and robust statistics it is when we kind of our system is super kind of anti-fragile robust and uh, res resilient uh, is it a word kind of synonymous for it i think so yes maybe maybe ne i think so strong strong to some of the anomalies uh, to some of the outliers to some noises to some features that are kind of maybe not uh, not doing some good things to our data sometimes they could do a nice things actually to our data because maybe we didn't look a lot about uh, this uh, outliers and actually uh, when we will be learning about it we will notice that it's uh, super mega nice working to us to our system super maybe super mega profitable that uh, using it for example you you right right now we have the gold yes gold in terms of the kind of mining and we have gold we have kind of different types of i don't know what's name of it but i imagine that you are a miner with some of the f f i don't know what's name of it okay Okay, some tools, uh, hammers and uh, axes, uh, kind of, I, I don't know what's name of it, uh, but in Russian it is Kirka. And uh, it is uh, specific tools, you are kind of mining as you are Rammstein band in the so zone, zone, <laughs> zone music video. And uh, you are uh, working for the... You, you are a gnome, you are a gnome or dwarf and you are working for the Snow White and uh, you are collecting some of the things, yes, raw, raw data, raw data, but inside of it we have uh, we, raw materials and inside of it we have gold and maybe behind the gold we have some something more, we maybe didn't learn about it enough to kind of determine that inside of the raw material could be not only only gold but something else super mega valuable yes for example yes it is kind of example of it and or maybe iron or uh, some of the materials uh, things of this nature actually it is outliers uh, most majorly majorly they could be they they could be kind of considered as the maybe not super nice but if we will learn more about it maybe we'll change our connotation of uh, kind of viewing to what is it Okay, next, it is our classification, algorithms classification, it is uh, different types of, uh, we have the data that uh, it is input of data, and then we are saying, what is it, it is a pen, it is a pencil, or is it a whiteboard marker, permanent, uh, permanent marker, or whiteboard, nice and kind of, uh, you can uh, do some of the cleaning of it, and uh, cleanable, cleanable, I mean, in terms of the, 
that whiteboard marker, okay, no, non-permanent. And uh, ex actually, we can say it about it, about this tool. And uh, actually, we in classification, we have the data, inputs, and uh, then we can say outputs. Outputs, it is our marks or names or different types of uh, classification labels and uh, identifiers, indices, that we can say what is it actually. It is our classification, classification tasks in machine learning. In this th field we can use uh, logistic regression, logistic regression, and also we can use uh, Stütz vector machine and, and support vector uh, support vector machines, multi-class uh, vector machines, uh, with different types of Bayesian classifiers and uh, probabilistic classifiers, binary classifiers. Actually when we say binary it is this or that, zero or one, one or two, three or four, something or something, this or that, kind of binary, two. And uh, we have also multi-class classifiers, multi-class classifiers like multi, multi, multi-class, uh, multi-class uh, support vector machine, when we kind of uh, see uh, things and we can see it through the, in other things, and it is different types of classifying to different uh, classes, one, two, three, four, for example example, four classes, or maybe eight classes, or maybe 16, or maybe 1000, or maybe 1 million, or maybe 1 trillion, and uh, billion, 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 guys, and, uh, and, other, and other things. Okay, it is our classification. And also, we have behind the classification, uh, next, next thing that we have, it is a regression analysis. A regression analysis it is uh, another task, it is another name for it, it is uh, constructing of the predictive, uh, predicting function by using empirical data. It is a regression. A regression means uh, going backward, going backward, progress, regress. Progress it is where we are going forward, uh, regress when we are going backward. Actually, re regression means that we are looking at data and then we are predicting what will be the the next step uh, kind of you notice some skills of you and you can predict what will be tomorrow yes for example it is kind of regression analysis it is extrapolation of the function function that we are looking forward backward and uh, historically to the 2015 or maybe backward to uh, 1950 yes uh, i mean 950 yes year 9 950 year yes so we look at this year yes 950 year number <laughs> year that has a number of 950 yes of our life and or we are go going to the future in these terms also we can look to interpolate in not only by time interpolation it is kind of looking at some of the we have this data this data and we can kind of guess what was be kind of between it yes it is interpolation extrapolation going there uh, this or that and interpolation going kind of be kind of in inside of it inside of the raw data and we can do linear regression by using specific linear functions, kx plus b. And also we have different types of uh, non-linear regression when we have nominator, de de nominator, denominator. I don't know how to say it in uh, English. I'm not fully inside of the fraction how to call it. But actually, let's go. Uh, let's go Google it. Fraction. Fraction. We will find right now. Denominator and numerator. Where is it? Ah, here it is, numerator and denominator. Numerator is upper, denominator is here, and uh, horizontal bar is here. Nominator, denominator, okay, numerator, denominator, numerator, denominator, numerator, denominator, okay, I did right now, numerator, denominator, numerator, denominator, numerator, denominator, to memorize it uh, with uh, specific associations with my motorical, motorical memory, when I do this type, numerator, denominator, first of all with the right hand, then left, and then both, okay, and uh, we have uh, numerator and denominator, de numerator and denominator and uh, what was i talking about ah non nonlinear regression it is when it is kind of not linear actually it is linear but it is a composition of different types of linear kind of i imagine that you have a line but actually if you see this it is kind of line here and then then, then, then then a lot of small 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 linears and then goes uh, uh, next also we have polynomial regression we, ha we have different types of uh, 2 degree 
degree of something, yes? Numbers with x to the power of 3, x to the power of uh, 4, and etc., yes? And it's polynomial. Also, we have uh, stepwise regression, robust regression, rich regression, and the logistic regression, but it's more for the logistic regression, it goes to the specific field of uh, classification, yes? Because it, it looks like this way, it is kind of, uh, if we look at this, it is, I imagine that it is 0 0.5, it is 1, it is 0, it is on the Cartesian coordinates, it is a y axis, and we see the specific patterns of it, yes, and everything that lies kind of on the upper than 0 0.5, then it is yes. If it is lies on the less than or equals to, for example, to 0 0.5, then it is no. It is kind of more than 50% or less than 50%, yes, or 51% or 49%. What will you do more when uh, that you are sure about it in 51% or 49%? Yes, you are, you will say to the 51% in most cases. <laughs> it all depends on your <laughs> on your psych psychology. Maybe you are the person who does in in kind of you do something that you are not sure about. Kind of it all depends on your model of decision of your inside inside of it what what you are doing yes okay next we have these types of machine learning tasks of regression, classification, and, and also clustering. Next, dimensionality reduction. When we have different types of data, actually we have tensors, vectors, and different types of arrays, multi-way arrays, multi-dimensional arrays. We have different types of data in terms of the kind of first dimension, third, second dimension, third dimension, x, y, z, uh, x, y, Z or maybe X Y Z alpha beta gamma delta epsilon zeta eta and etc. Yes, we have different types of data, different types of parameters, or maybe age, weight, <laughs> and also height, <laughs> and also job, and also parameter of the where this person lives addre address, and also maybe <laughs> some some different patterns. Yes, th that we have. Also, we can describe things by RGB, RGB, H, L, C, L. HSB, CMY, CMYK model, uh, color models, and also we can say about objects by different parameters of so weight, length, width, height, depth, long, 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 longitude, latitude, altitude, and frequencies, amplitudes, and different types of decibels, and things of this nature, and classifications by different types of things, uh, musical instruments, phones, membrane phones, styrophones, chordophones, electrophones, and things of this nature. Actually, it is uh, different types of parameters that we can use to describe describe different types of things to classify them by something, age, weight, uh, and height, and things of this nature. Okay, and we have data, and we have different types of variables, variables that are inside of our multi-dimensional array. What is it? Mo d arrays. Arrays, it is the list of things, actually, we can say, but actually it's another list, it's another, but actually to the beginners it is, will be understandable that it is a list of things that connect, collects, c has different types of uh, variables inside of it, yes? And uh, we have, uh, for example, we have society, yes? And we have a society of five people, for example, yes? We have the person number one, first, uh, person number two, person number three, person number four, person number five. And for each person we have different types of... If we will dive deeper, if we will look at the person number one, we have his height, uh, his weight, his uh, his uh, his, uh, his uh, color, uh, co color preferability, that he likes maybe the red color or black car color or green color. Also, we have data about about uh, his uh, kind of uh, first name, second name, and surname, etc. It is the first. His. And also we have a second person. She is a female. Her weight, her height, her pre preferability for something, and also we have data about the the gender, gender for the first person, gender for the second, gender for the third, uh, and, and etc. Actually, it is different types of parameters. Here, 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 different types of parameters, so we can visualize it by using only two datas. For example, height and weight. Uh, dependency, the specific correlation between height and depth of the specific person. Yes, kind of, in the height of it, he has uh, a very Averagely, uh, or av average number of it, mean number of it, mean 
M E A N mean number means that sum summation of everything every 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 number in our set divided by the number of this data inside of this set. Yes, it is uh, kind of we have five numbers of uh, first plus second plus third plus fourth plus fifth. It is on our numerator and on denominator will be five because we have five numbers and uh, it is our thing and uh, we have parameters of different people and in visualizing in 2D we can kind of see everything in 3D we can see everything in 1D sometimes we can see everything 1D it is only one line and we have kind of points on it and when we look at 4D Jesus Christ a tesseractus hyper cubes hyper spheres hyper planes hyper hyper parameters hyper vertices hyper edges hyper faces and uh, things of this hyper and uh, <laughs> hyper means that it is bigger than three dimensions it is 4, 5, 20, 25 dimensions that we can look at. Actually, dimensions means different types of parameters. So here, 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 here. Super mega understandable if you will look at this at, as the list of things. For example, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and in each of it, you describe the specific parameter of this list. For example, name, address, age, weight, height, and uh, also preferability of color and <laughs> preferability of color. I mean, what color this person likes, for example, it is the specific specific research about uh, w what do people like, yes, what are they favorite color, yes, favorite color, preferable co color, or maybe fav favorite favorite music, yes, she's a fan of uh, ABBA music, or maybe some of the Blink-182 music, or maybe uh, Beatles music, the Beatles music, or maybe ACDC, or maybe Heaven is a Good Place on Earth, yes, some music, uh, songs, yes, song, and uh, we have different date, date here and uh Actually, it is dimensions, yes? And dimensionality reduction is specific tasks when we see only parameters that needed to us in the specific tasks. For example, as I said before, we need only height and weight. Okay, we'll do dimensionality reduction to the two dimensions. Two dimensions only needed. Principal component analysis, independent component analysis, linear discriminant analysis. It is the specific tools, methods, ansatz, uh, and... Uh, okay, uh, I will not use uh, some of the uh, German terms. <laughs> approach, yes, a specific approach uh, that we can look at the first and second, and only we s see two parameters, and, and others so we don't need, because uh, these two correlated to our research the most, we need them the most. Correlated means that they have ca commune relations, commune, co, co, co the, uh, prefix co, and uh, relation, relation this kind of connections, and co, it is togetherness, togetherness of objects, co, relations that they are correlated together to in some factors so with something they are correlated to something it is etymology okay and uh, jesus christ i feel as, uh, myself as uh, i feel i feel myself uh, 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 right now myself as i am a teacher right now professor really i i use academic speech right now and i'm so glad and uh, actually maybe you understand it, even what i'm speaking because right now i really have flashbacks of uh, some lectures that i was given in my university and previous universities, I was in four different universities, and uh, Jesus Christ, it's amazing. Okay, we have different types of things of this nature, and uh, we can describe data differently. And uh, we have different types of parameters, and parameters, it is our dimensions. First variables, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and etc. We have dimensions, and we do kind of cutting them, we do only kind of only selecting, selecting, let's do selecting word. Selecting it is more kind of with more positive connotation, more optimistic, yes, enthusiastic, enthusiastic. And we have here some data, and we have data, and we use only these three parameters for the specific things. We use only these four parameters, five, five parameters and etc. It is dimensionality reduction thing. And methods that we use, it is uh, principal component analysis, independent con component analysis, fast independent con component analysis, linear discriminant analysis and etc. We can use. Okay, it is our about dimensions. Also, about my PhD thesis. Need to drink water, first of all. <laughs> about my PhD thesis. I write it about robust methods of finding centers of clusters. It is 
robust i said already it is something that's strong to to different types of outliers anomalies and noises and things of this nature something some data that is kind of not super learned maybe about or maybe we learned already that is not needed it's kind of principal component analysis it is dimensionality reduction that we understand that we need only this data that the most correlated to something yes it is a robust methods a robust methods of finding centers of clusters Center of cluster, cluster, clustering, you remember, it is data in some taxonomy, we have different types of clusters, and we have people who are interested in music, and also maybe they are interested in dancing, and we have some people who are interested in dancing and in music, kind of, and, kind of, they, are, they have the specific kind of, I imagine the diagram of Euler van, it is uh, the specific... Uh, Euler circle, Euler circle, and here it is the specific kind of kind of intersecting area. Intersecting area means that the day the data that these people and these people is you you know this uh, you know this I understand that you know it is diagram of Euler van. It is uh, when we have two uh, two different uh, things and we have the mutual mutual information about uh, both of them. Actually, we have people who are who like dancing and some people who like uh, singing and some people who like dancing and singing and yes and uh, togetherness mutualness and uh, we have this and uh, we have data about uh, the people here and uh, actually we have different types of clusters and we have the center of clusters the prototype the the most kind of the, that represents the most representful person the most representful data the most representable, representable object of the specific cluster of objects. For example, we have people who are playing guitar, piano or guitar, yes, piano, guitar, and etc. We have people who are playing piano or guitar, and we have five people who are playing guitar, for example, yes? They are playing guitar, five people, and we need to find the center of it. Center means that the average number of these five players, what's the skill of them, kind of to find the average person in this uh, that will represent all the data inside of this this person may be super mega nice player this person may be kind of only the beginner it is already kind of a little bit bigger it is advanced player it is kind of nice nice kind of average person and we can say by counting all the numbers of skills who is kind of the represents this type of people the, the best for example with salaries it will be 10,000 15,000 20,000 25,000 and also 